What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Francis and Michelle here. If you're turning for the first time, I have to say welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a get ready with me using all my favorite products. I have been obsessed with every single product that I'm going to put on my face today and I thought that I would share with you guys how awesome they are and honestly speaking, why I love them so much and why they've been my favorite for the past month or so. Um, I have a little bit of both. I have drugstore and I have some uh, high-end products, but these products, guys, I've been reaching back to them nonstop. Um, I don't know why, they're just so bomb. And I thought I'd share with you guys, honestly speaking, you guys like, um, like you guys ask me, hey friends, what's been your favorite foundation at the moment, this is and that. And I'm like, um, this one, or this, or that. So I thought, why not make a whole video using my top current favorites and why I love them so much. <laughs> so before we jump into this video, guys, you already know what to do. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And as usual, don't forget to follow your girl on IG. It's francis 2 Show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video, guys. So I prepped my skin using the Pixie Beauty um, Ceramid Cream. I already have my face prepped. This is my holy, my favorite at the moment. Um, intense moisturizer and it's so dope because like I always say in every single video it is not heavy so you can wear it under your makeup all right guys so before I start I love using this uh, uh, b6 prep priming spray by urban decay I love applying this on my face this is pretty much it's a let me see I'm gonna show this is a soothing spray preps, hydrates, and prime as balances the complexion and even skin tone. So um, I'm going to jump into brows. I like doing my brows first. I've been loving and obsessing over these two little babies right here. These are the um, Benefit Cosmetics brow um, products. We have first the Gimme Brow. And then I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love this, guys, because it is um freaking waterproof this thing goes nowhere so i'm gonna go ahead i know i never i never say on camera when i'm doing my brows but i'm going to do one brow to kind of show you like how i do my brows and then we're gonna fast forward to the rest of the video i like to brush the hair just to make sure everything is like on one place i like to brush my hair like that and i'm going to start with the pencil And I do, I lightly, I draw out the front part of my, of my brow. And then with light strokes, I go upwards. here and I just pretty much send it do a little arm um, wing and then on the top part I kind of light strokes I kind of start connecting the top part so something like that guys not like so much one brow down, next one to go. Okay, so my brows are done. I like to bake my brows a little bit just to kind of lighten the eye, just to kind of lighten the the hairs a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into a foundation. So I've been loving to mix these two foundations together, give me like the perfect finish to my skin. I'm the, I I'm very of a matte girl, so I love mattifying foundations, but I've been using these two lately. They're not mattifying. They are super uh, radiant and luminous. luminous. Um, so I first like to go in with the NARS. Natural Radiant Long Wear NARS Foundation. I love this foundation. After I use this foundation, I'm sorry, on top of it, I like to use the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. Use this one right here. So I like to go in and straight to the face, to be honest. I'm a little savage like that. So I just apply a little bit here here All 
right, guys, then we're going to move on to my favorite concealer at the moment. It is the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this concealer. This is the second tube that I buy, and I will continue to buy. with my favorite setting product at the moment is the collab makeup guys i love this powder um i literally running out of this powder like i have nothing left <laughs> that was at sally's yesterday i'm so bad love this powder because it is super brightening and i consider it to be very full coverage i love a translucent powder or a setting powder that has coverage guys because what i'm looking for is to help me cover my dark under eyes so i am not going to bake i'm just going to kind of press on all right now to set everything else i'm going to use my cc cream cc plus um cc plus powder CC Plus Airbrush Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I love this powder. It is so good. You can use it by itself, and I absolutely love this powder. I just like to dab it where I have the foundation just a little bit because I don't want to kill the shine of the beautiful finish that foundation gives me. So, all right, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using two of my favorite at the moment. And one of them is going to be the ColourPop bronzer. And then the other one is going to be, this is, a, this is called a, it's not a bronzer, it's like a, anyways. And then I'm going to be using the Casino by NARS. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm going to first start off with the ColourPop just to kind of carve out everything on my face. bronzer is so subtle but at the same time it gives me a nice glow a nice color in the skin it's not like a very intense um look guys i have i have to wash my braids right here because all of this is makeup now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to blush i've been loving the butter blush by physician formula the color is so beautiful this color is in the vintage roach it's like a mauve that was what's was happening it's like a mauve pink it's like a mauve pink shade and I just love how pigmented this thing is, y'all. Like, it's so pigmented. A little bit goes, like, a long way. Look at that. You guys can see that. I like to put a little bit of, A little bit. Just a little bit. One of my holy grail bronzers at the moment has to be this Pixie Beauty. I've been using it nonstop for about a year or so. I'm just, I just hit pan on it. It's a little bit broken, but I continue to use this baby until there's nothing in the pond. And I'm gonna go back and get some. I like missing the two shades that are in here. I'm gonna read you the names real quick, which, which one it is. Because like, look at that guys. I'm living for this bron this highlight. Yes, boo. Look at that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. By surprise, the 
palette that I've been loving, honestly speaking, because I'm trying to like create more bright looks here on my channel. And surprisingly, the palette that I've been loving, it's from the drugs. It's actually a drugstore brand. And it is full up makeup a revolution a reloaded marvelous matte palette look at those colors guys i'm living for those colors so i've been obsessing with this palette just because i'm obsessed with these the yellows like this road right here up to here i mean the pink one is pretty nice but i don't do a lot of pinks on my channel but i've been obsessing with that yellow orange and red lately like i'm just like living for it like we're living for it. So today's video, today's makeup look, we're actually going to be using, I'm thinking whether to use a yellow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start with the orange shade because that's the one I've been using all lately. jump onto the red one I want to show you guys how beautiful the red one is and you say what a red one Francis yeah a red one such a beautiful color I'm actually going to intensify my look with the red one how beautiful that color is guys never in a million years would I ever thought I would put like red and orange shadows on my eyes all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and use that yellow I'm gonna go ahead and use that yellow right there, that bright yellow, oh yes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to liner. And I've been loving, loving, loving to use this um this little ink pot. It reminds me so much of like the like long ago where they used to write with the little feather tip and the ink would be in the little ink pot. This reminds me so much of it. This is from Pretty Bulgar, and it is so rich and dark and creamy. Like I love this little pomade. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it is a little hard to uh, mess with because it's like a it's, it's not a uh, thin brush or anything. You have to use like a brush like this. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing the wing line, I'm going to just kind of do a dark, long, uh, thick line on top of my lashes. And then we're going to pop on some lashes. So for lashes, we're going to move on to my favorite lashes. These are the Ardell Natural. Um, these are the Ardell the Natural um, something. Anyways, I got the natural ones, but I got the Demi Wispies, which are by far one of my favorite ones. These are the Demi Wispies um, natural ones because they have a Demi Wispies that are a little bit more dramatic. But I like to use this ones just to kind of um, look like I have lashes on. But at the same time, you can actually see my eye look because sometimes if you wear lashes that are very dramatic, you're kind of like hiding your makeup. So I like wearing the Demi um, Wispies, but like the more natural ones. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on. And then we'll finish um, the rest of the look. All right, so this is what the eyes look with the lashes. I feel like lashes transform a look from 0 to 100 in like however long it takes you to do your lashes. So guys, for, <laughs> for mascara, I am going to be using my favorite at the moment, which is the Essence Cosmetics. You already know that I've been raving about the mascara on all my makeup videos. This thing is by far one of my best drugstore mascaras that I've seen ever. I don't know what is in this thing, but it's seriously no joke. 
So guys, to actually make the look stand out, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite um, l uh, gel liners. This is, a lip, this is the pencil, this is the Cream Gel Liner by ColourPop. I've been loving these liners, I have it in all colors. The one I've been using the most is the yellow and the white. I've been using it nonstop, and I'm actually going to be using this on my waterline um, because I wanna, make, I wanna make that yellow stand out. Okay guys, so for liquid lipsticks, for my lipstick, I'm gonna be using one I'm going to be using one of my favorites at the moment is the Carity liquid lipstick in the color um I don't know what color this is. This is like an orange color, but as soon as I find it on the website, I'm gonna put it down below. This is my second runner up. My first one is a color pop um color. It's from I'm trying to figure out the name. I will put it down below. I had it the other day on this picture. I'm gonna put this the picture right here that's the liquid lipstick i have um i don't i can't find it anywhere i'm so dying going crazy but this one is actually my runner up i love the i love the formula on these on this lipsticks guys to be honest and they're very inexpensive like that the camera the lights are washing it off it's a beautiful orange shade and of course guys we don't want this makeup to go anywhere so we are going to set the whole entire face why not use my favorite setting spray of all time guys it's an oldie but a goodie and I think I haven't found any setting spray that kind of comes close to this one right here the Urban Decay All Nighting Study Spray. It's a holy grail. I'm locking this baby in. And that's it, guys. There you have it. This is my uh, completed look using all my favorite products at the moment. I am obsessed with every single product on my face, and especially this freaking eyeshadow palette like i would never in a million years think that i was into bright neon colors like this but lately like they're right up my alley and i'm just living for it guys so i'm gonna let you enjoy it all right guys so these are all my favorite products at the moment i decided to do this video like this i normally like to sit down in front of the camera and show you um well this has been my favorite foundation at the moment this has been my favorite primer at the moment but guys i have to say that i did not wear primer i did not wear primer i did not wear primer i forgot to wear primer y'all well, anyways, I just figure it out right now. I was just going to go ahead and show you the primer that I've been loving. I've been obsessed with the no, with this um, primer right here, guys. This primer is beast. This primer is bomb. The No, Por Prob the no Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. <sighs> obsessed, guys. I am obsessed with that primer. I can't believe I didn't wear any primer on my face. I'm trying to hurry up through this video, guys. Anyways, y'all, this is the video. Um, I thought it was a great idea to kind of, instead of telling you what makeup product I liked, I was kind of putting them to the test so you see why I like each and every single one of these products so much that I gravitate towards every single time I wear makeup. And I am a foundation person. Like, I could invest in foundation nonstop. And lately, these two foundations combined have given me the best, best finish and the best thing is that they last a long time and I'm here for it. So everything on my face, everything I use, I'm going to list it down below. And I hope that you guys, if you guys try them, you guys love them as much as I do. And um, yeah, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button already. And if you are not following me on Instagram, it's francis 2 Michelle. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for sticking till the end and watching the whole entire video. Thank you so much for your love and support. Muchas besos. I'll see you girls on my following video. Bye.